Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. On today's menu is samosa and spring roll wraps. I'll teach you two easy methods in which you can use to achieve this, okay? If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get our next content because I'll be posting a lot of food content. We will be using flour, one over three TSP of salt, a tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of sugar, and 380 ml of room temperature water. Mix the dry ingredient together and introduce water bit by bit. So in the flour, I'll add the cornstarch, sugar, salt, mix together to incorporate it. Mix, mix, mix until everything is well combined. Then we'll start introducing water bit by bit, but you have to really be fast so that there will be no lumps. This is what we are looking for. You want it to be very smooth. So I'll be using my wrap making machine to do the first method and then a frying pan for the second method. This is what my wrap making machine looks like and I'm going to switch it on. You allow it to preheat for at least 30 seconds to 60 seconds, which is roughly one minute. I already have the batter inside the bowl, so I'll show you how you can use the machine to make your wraps. So remember, you dip it in. You can fill here up if you want to, to get a perfect circle. You give it a little bit of time so that it will cook. You don't want to see any wet batter on top, okay? You want it to be well cooked. Like when you touch it, it should be very, very cooked. And it shouldn't stick on your fingers, okay? Once it starts pulling up, I don't know if you can see this very well. Look at it, yeah? You see? It's already pulling up. When it starts pulling up from the edges, that shows that it's almost cooked, okay? So I'll go check it out and see how far. Yeah? See? Whoa. You have to be very careful with it, it is always very hot. You keep on going until you exhaust it. So this is the second method, which is the frying pan method on a stove top. So you just have to pour the batter, just bit by bit, then move it around, okay? Move it around, then you can use a pastry brush and just make sure that you rub it all through the circumference you want it to get to, depending on the size you want to make. So just fill it up. In case you have any form of holes, just like we did with the machine uh, method, endeavor to close it up. Just like the other one, the wrap is well cooked when the wet batter is cooked and it begins to pull from the edges. As you can see, when you look over here, it's already pulling from the edge. Okay? Wow, that's beautiful. Whoa, it's very hot. That's what it looks like. This is the machine method and this is the frying pan method. And when you look at it, you see that the machine method is just round. When you look at the circle, the circle is a recircle and um, it is well outlined. Why the frying pan method, in as much, is still edible, beautiful, but um, the shape is <laughs> looking so awkward due to the fact that, you know, we have to do it manually. When you look at it, you will see that you can see my hand through the wrap. And the same thing with the machine method, you can as well see my hand through the wrap. So this is how you make your samosa and spring roll wrap, okay? And um, after this, you have to fill it with your homemade samosa or spring roll fillings and wrap it. I also have A to Z recipes of the entire process for those who want to learn step by step.